Ding dong. Hey everybody, what's up? Just want to have a little fun with the intro today. One of my favorite TikTok sounds ever. So welcome back to another Mindset Monday. Awesome to see you. Um, I was just on a, a run today and uh, I do these long runs and this is kind of wanted to talk about. I actually love running and I have for a long time. And for the last few weeks, what I've been really doing is really trying to push myself, really try to up my time, up my distance, things like that. And then uh, a couple of weeks ago, I started kind of dreading it because I think it's really good to push yourself, but not to the point where you push yourself where you don't want to do things the next day. And I always try to find that balance. Like, where do you push yourself where you want to get back doing the things that you want to do? And the last couple of weeks, what I've been doing is just running for joy and not like running for joy, like waving my hands, but like just running and finding joy in that time, listening to podcasts, listening to music, and really just kind of seeing it as a moving meditation. And I think about like some of the things that I love doing. I, I love playing basketball. Um, and I love, you know, different things. I, I really love working out. I've learned to love it over time. And but I don't necessarily do what other people do when they go to the gym. And I think kind of the point what I'm trying to make here and what you, I want you to really think about is how do we actually not just exercise doing things that we think are good for us, but also find those things that we love that are maybe beneficial and kind of starting from that point, right? I, I don't necessarily love all sports, but I do love playing basketball, but I know that helps me, uh, you know, health-wise. And so the other part of this too is this is a, something that I've had to kind of transition with my eating. I, I, I share a lot of pictures on uh, Instagram of me working out, you know, exercising, things like that. I don't necessarily share a ton of what I eat, but eating really has been the huge game changer for me. And when I first started really kind of losing weight, I was actually uh, basically eating the same thing every morning. Then I have like a salad at night. And I'm going to tell you straight up, I hate salad. I'm not a big fan of salad. Like there is sometimes uh, I, I do like salad. I'm not going to lie. Chick-fil-A salad. Love it. I do love a Chick-fil-A salad, uh, but I don't think I could eat it every single day. And uh, I, I, I would eat the salad and I would like kind of dread it every night. And I'm like, well, this is good for you. This is going to how you're going to lose weight. And eventually I actually started transitioning away from salad. You know, the favorite Simpsons line, you don't win friends with salad. And if you love salad, that's awesome. Good for you. And that's, that's great. But I, I didn't enjoy it. And so what I actually started to do differently was I started to find foods that I loved that were healthy and kind of work from that point, not eat healthy foods, whether I like them or not. And I think that has made this transition for me a lot easier to, to lose weight because I actually look forward to my meals. I, I look forward to eating. And I think that if you're at a point where you're gritting your teeth to, to before you have a meal because you just don't enjoy it, but you feel like, hey, this is healthy, that might be beneficial for a little bit of time, but long term, it's not gonna, it's not gonna actually help you out. And so when you look at this, when I talk about this exercise, find things that you love doing, and then that are, you know, beneficial to your body, eating, find stuff that you love eating, that are that are healthy, don't kind of just eat healthy foods that you hope will have a benefit, because long term, that's not going to work. So I think personally, that's really helped me. And so then I was thinking about like, how does this apply? Like, how have I applied these lessons to myself professionally, right? How do I actually think about this in a professional context? So I'm going to take a step back and think about when I was an administrator and how I could help, help others to this space. I remember, you know, when we were actually looking at uh, assigning educators, the classes they were going to teach for the following year, and this is going into my second year as assistant principal, we sent out a little email and it was really, um, really kind of a simple thing. And we just said to people, if you could have your dream job in education, what would it be? Right. And, you know, if you wanted to uh, <laughs> do something outside of education, probably couldn't help you uh, to tweak your job. But if you're like, hey, I've always wanted to teach this thing. Right. I've always wanted to teach this. We we, we kind of saw the big picture of what everyone was teaching. What, what were they doing? Because we wanted to put people in positions of areas that of interest, you know, places that were they were passionate about. Because we knew 
if they were passionate about it, they would actually, um, they would actually excel. And so a couple of things I remember from that particular, um, the first time we had ever done this, I did it every other year that I was an administrator. I remember uh, one year there was a teacher who taught halftime phys ed and then halftime grade five. And I remember, you know, working with every day, and this was a sign before uh, I was an administrator. And I think it was based on research. They kind of said like, well, hey, this is really good if you have some time in the class, ABC, blah, 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 okay? So this is something that they had done. And I would see that this person would be happy every morning teaching phys ed. And then he'd be grumpy in the afternoon. And so he basically said, I, I just want to teach phys ed all day. Like that's, that's what I love doing. And I saw how miserable he was, you know, in those afternoons. And, I'll, and I think that it was not only detrimental to him, but honestly, I'm sure the kids, and it wasn't like he was a bad teacher, you know, that kids felt he hated them, but he was just such a different person when he was teaching something he was passionate about. And we actually put him in as full-time phys ed teacher the next year. And just to see his demeanor and how grateful he was, was one thing, but he just was so good at it. He was just such an incredible uh, teacher. I just saw things and I, I just saw things that he had done that were absolutely incredible. And so the other, the other element too, I remember this specifically, we had one teacher and you, I would have never guessed this in a million years that said, you know, I've been teaching, you know, lower elementary grades for years. I would love to teach like a middle school, grade six or seven class. And this was a K to nine school. And then we had a middle school teacher said, you know, I've been teaching middle school for a long time. I really want to try elementary. I really want to try this. I'm passionate about it. And if you would have asked me um, if I would have thought that about either one of these teachers, I would have never guessed that in a million years. And all of a sudden we're like, okay, we have this teacher who wants to teach elementary that's in middle school and a middle school teacher wants to teach elementary. This is a super easy fix. And then, and they just kind of swapped them and they both excelled and they've, I've, I've continued to watch their careers and they're just doing amazing things. And I would have never known that if I didn't ask the question. And so really trying to put people in areas of passion, areas of interest, thinking of doing that. Now, I know some of you, you know, listening to this, watching this, whatever, you're not necessarily in a position where you get to pick your job, right? This is one thing for me to say as an administrator and kind of give you this advice on like, hey, if you're leading a school, this is a really simple thing that you could be doing. But if you're a teacher where you don't decide, um, you know, you're, what, what you're teaching this year, it's a different context. So this is going to be some hard advice I'm going to give you. Just want you to think about. And just kind of going back to my own uh, career. I remember I was at a school. It was a great school. Staff was awesome, but I was miserable. And there's a couple of reasons I was miserable. First of all, uh, I didn't really like living where I was living. It was a small town and at that point it just I wanted to kind of go to a larger center. That was one element of it too. The, the other thing was I, I wasn't really excited about the subject area I was teaching but that's what if I was going to stay at that school that's what I was going to continue to teach and I felt that I had went to you know university to become a teacher but I wasn't really doing the things that I wanted to do as an educator and I actually ended up deciding like, no matter what, whether I find a job or not next year, like I'm leaving the school. I'm going to, even if it means leaving education. And I actually thought, you know, if I, even if I find another job, I don't know if I can teach anymore. And so I, I actually ended up getting a job somewhere else. And then I was put in a position where I was able to teach stuff I loved. And it actually just changed everything for me it actually changed the trajectory of my career and I had worked with an administrator at this new school that you know really had me in on the conversation of like what I wanted to do how I wanted to do it and helping me find that passion totally changed everything for me and my career just went on a totally different trajectory and if I would have stayed, I know I would have quit. I know I wouldn't have been there. And like I said, it was no fault of the school, no fault of the administrators. It just wasn't the space that I wanted to be in. It wasn't, there's a myriad of factors. So the hard advice that I'm going to give you is sometimes the best thing you can do is that if you're finding that you're not personally or even professionally satisfied is to walk away, is to sometimes leave. 
And I know this is hard advice and you know, you might be listening to this time where like, Hey, I'm, I'm not even anywhere near this. I have the full year, but I think a lot of times we will tell people like, Hey, just kind of work through it. Just kind of get through this. But if you can see things are not working and you stick with it, is that really the best thing? Sometimes it's not about sticking with things. It's about finding a new direction. And some of you listening to this, you, you know, I'm right. And that's the thing. And that's the hard thing is that sometimes we just got to find a new space, a place where we find that we excel because I was in a place where it was like, Hey, I know you don't like where you're at right now, but you'll, you will figure it out. Just like, I know you hate salads, but you'll end up liking them. But I was never going to like salads. And it was kind of, you know, I know it's kind of like a, uh, a small example leading to kind of a bigger idea. But that is something that I want you to really think about is that we do have control over our path. You can say like, hey, well, my principal never asked me or, you know, I'll never be in that position. But if you're not happy, where is that control that you have where you can find your own way? Kind of start. And I, and I, I don't think that everything in life that we have to do, we have to just totally love. And I don't think that every exercise we do uh, that we could, we hate it at first and we'll never learn to love it. And there is times of that, but eventually you will figure out if I play volleyball for 10 years and I don't love it after 10 years, it's a pretty good indicator. I'm not going to love volleyball. And so kind of thinking about, and so kind of taking some of that control. So find those things that you're passionate about and you will see how you excel both personally and professionally. Thanks so much for being here on Mindset Mondays. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Thanks for all you do.